Hi, this is Kevin from Metalworks Institute here to explain to you the difference between an analog synth and a digital synth. And in order to do that, I have a Moog Voyager here in front of me, a completely analog synthesizer minus the digital patch savings. Uh, but then here I have a key rig triggering Reason software and we're using Thor to compare the two types of synthesis. All right, first let's address analog versus digital. Let's talk about watches. <laughs> Does anyone wear those anymore? Yeah, boy! Uh, I sure don't, but here's the thing. An analog watch, it displays time by using continuously rotating hands. A digital watch, on the other hand, it's a representation of time, but it's different from an analog watch in that it breaks down time by just displaying it digitally. When we're talking about digital, each moment that's sampled in time doesn't actually represent the full spectrum of time. It's broken into steps. So analog and digital synths work differently on a fundamental level. We have an analog system here playing the same sound as a digital system, but they have different subjective terms that we use to describe them. Some that come to mind for analog are warm, musical, uh, very authentic sounding, maybe expensive. Words that come to mind for a digital synthesizer, some will call it stable, consistent, uh, cold sounding even, and um, less expensive for sure. So have a listen again. I have the same sound as close as possible called up on this Voyager versus Reason's Thor. So here's the analog version. And the digital. So, how do we break through the language barrier when deciding what kind of synth to use? Just ask yourself, what is needed for this particular production or your track you're working on? Do you need some fat, vintage sound or do you need some kind of digital, precise sound for your productions? 